Hoping to catch a view of the Aurora Borealis, a solar eclipse, meteor shower, or a full moon, but your local forecast has clouds? Don't panic. Not all clouds are bad clouds. I'll let you know which may or may not obstruct your view. In our atmosphere, we have clouds at three different levels, low, medium, and high. They can impact your sky views in different ways. Let's start with low clouds, stratus and cumulus often found along storm fronts or low pressure systems. Stratus clouds are uniform and flat, creating a gray layer of clouds, sometimes producing precipitation. Now these are not ideal for views of the sky. Cumulus clouds, on the other hand, now these are puffy and they grow vertically. The gap between the clouds may offer you a glimpse at a celestial event. There are two main types of mid-level cloud, which are known as autostratus and autocumulus. Now, autostratus clouds are basically a sheet of gray that blankets the sky. Visibility is poor in these conditions. Ever heard of a macro sky? This is known as autocumulus clouds, which are typically found in groups. They are slightly better for visibility than autostratus. Now the best clouds for sky viewing are high clouds because they are thin, wispy, and feathery. The three main types are cirrus, cirrostratus, and cirrocumulus. These often form ahead of an approaching weather system. They're made entirely of ice crystals due to the cloud temperatures of the upper atmosphere and are sometimes translucent, which is almost perfect for sky watching. Whether it's the auroras, a solar eclipse, or a full moon, these clouds will give you the best chance for a clear view, or of course, no clouds at all. 